David Lynch, the stuff that has gone on in these woods, if we start mixing the times together, a la read Lewis Carroll's around 1861, there's a description of a lecture he went to where he heard about polar expeditions and uh, a fellow who was struck by a cannonball going at the speed that cannonballs did go in those days while taking measurements of a fortress so there are these aurora they are touching down at the ground and they are transmitting images of past events that have been recorded in the cosmos and they're playing them back like a cinema and the Brits and the Germans and everybody are going nuts because this allows them to do polar expeditions and find out real historical facts so in the present day we have the space weather woman and people like that doing this research and just the fact that they're doing this research makes these things happen but in a much more real way because of some ecological catastrophe so the trees are starting to generate the aurora and this is making the sun boil it's that kind of thing and then we start mixing the events and they start getting concrete And the pattern, the time goes back, the memories of the experiences and the, the reports of the ghost stories and the reports of the reports of the ghost stories and the reports of the reports of the reports are all folding together and generating new and it's producing a new fixed point. And the whole thing is the, the phenomenon of man, it's the movie, by the, read the book that, by Tayard de Chardin. And it's set with this Catholic priest in exile in China. After having got himself involved in... Where did I hear him turning up? In, in, in the, the Provo stuff in Amsterdam, was it? Can't have been. This the other day. Um, asked Polly Jean Harvey. I'm waiting for two shots. 